I'm Aaron Robinette, and this is my Trainer's Insight. In this video, I'm talking about breathing techniques with exercises. This is one of the most missed areas people have with exercise. I'm gonna talk about two different breathing techniques depending on what the type of exercise you're doing. In general, when you move, as you get closer to fetal position, so when you get down, everything comes closer into contraction, you want to exhale. As you go more into extension, away from fetal position, that's when you want to inhale. I'm gonna give you a couple demonstrations to that. One, if you were to do a lat pull down or maybe a pull up, if your hands are this way and you pull down, you actually want to inhale as you pull down this way. However, if your hands come in this way, you want to exhale as you pull down. So it's not a matter of where the movement is, it's a matter of what your body is doing. So as I'm pulling this way, I'm more opening things up into extension. That's when I want to inhale. But if I come this way and do that same movement, I want to exhale. The other exercise I'm actually going to demonstrate with this is the squat exercise. So I'm gonna give you the first thing, everything I just talked about, going closer into fetal position, doing a standing squat with no weight, so no loading in this particular case. So getting right here, and anything with body weight in general, and I'll tell you when the switch is just in a minute. Anything with body weight, as you go down, you want to exhale. Closer to field position. As I stand back up, I'm inhaling. So a couple reps. Inhale on the way up. So the difference is when you're going to change this type of breathing mechanics is when you're under load. And the key area is if you know this, your breath starts to stop, or as your breath stops, or you start to hold your breath, that's when you wanna change your breathing mechanics. Now for me, this particular load for a squat isn't really heavy, it's enough to challenge me just a little bit, but I wanna demonstrate this so I can talk this through. So before I get under the load, the breathing mechanics as they change, I wanna engage my deep abdominal wall. So at the top of the load, what I'll do is I'm gonna take a deep belly breath in, pull, in, pull my belly button in, go down, hold that, and as I come back up, I'm going to exhale this way through pursed lips so I can keep my deep abdominal wall engaged. The only time that changes is any time where, where I get a sticking point or where it's, the exercise starts to get more difficult, that's when I start my exhale. So in other words, if I have really heavy load, if I started going down and I hit a sticking point on the way down, that's when I start the exhale. And try and exhale all the way through. In this particular case, it won't be a sticking point at that point, so let me demonstrate this. So I'll get in the squat position. Right here, get the load up. From here, I'm going to set my belly button. Deep breath in, pull the belly button in. I've not exhaled. I go down, as I come back up, right like that. One more time, deep breath in, pull the belly button in, down, exhale on the way up. I wanna rack this back. And that's how you change your breathing, that's how you breathe through your strength training exercises. Let me know in the comments below how well this works for you and also let me know if there's any tips or information that you want me to cover in these videos. And if you're looking for more tips or you're looking for training, go check out my website, aaronrobinette.com.